feel I'm free, man. Talk to me later. Be a hard train. You let me know, <coughs> and then you, you'll go <coughs> once we like uh, also talk about when you found the B3 Sciences, the premier company um, for BFR training. Okay. I'll, I'll ask you that in the what is BFR training. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the why. Why did you like go into who is it for? <coughs> why, why would someone want to use it? Mm-hmm. <coughs> this segment to the workout segment you can that way I'll go this way we'll meet there okay and uh, we're gonna keep rolling when we'll we just keep finish. rolling okay we are recording everything so even if this live without live everything is still recorded and we'll post afterwards there you go that's the plan Guys, what's happening? Todd Durkin here, founder of Fitness Quest 10, San Diego, California. And I got my man, Dr. Mike DeBoard is in the house and you're in for a treat today. Mike's the, fo- the founder of B3 Sciences and you talk about BFR training. This is the master, this is the icon, this is the legend that we, uh, we wanna talk to today. Dr. Mike, welcome to the show. Thanks, Todd. Awesome to be here, man. And what a workout, right? She's guys. We just did a workout that uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but <laughs> let me tell you, these bands uh, have got me all jacked up, like I haven't been jacked up in a long time. So uh, I'm fired up, and uh, it was a great workout, by the way. I want to talk a lot about BFR training. People are like, hey, TD, what's BFR training? What's BFR training? Um, I want them to hear from you, the guy that created B3 Sciences, the leading brand when it comes to BFR training. Can you please describe BFR training? What is it? Absolutely. Well, think of it this way. We spend our whole life exercising, right? And we know the difference. Everybody knows the difference between going for a walk and running the stadium stairs. We know the difference between a one-pound dumbbell and those 40s, right? You feel the burn. That's when all the magic happens in exercise. How do we tap into that? How do we get to that burn quicker and easier. We found this technology in Japan in 2012 13. Their speed skaters and swimmers are using. We thought they're cheating here, they're doing this. Brought this technology to the United States, thanks to Dr. Jim Stray Gunderson up at Park City, and perfected it in Olympic athletes. And here's what we saw when you put these bands on your arms and legs, what does it do? It simply slows down blood flow. It's not a blood pressure cuff. I'm still flowing no matter what I pump this up to because of the special design of ours. So don't think blood pressure cuff, think let's turn the garden hose down a quarter of a turn on the flow of blood going back. What does that do? Look at my hands right here. It brings the oxygen down. Why is that so important? Well, when the oxygen's up here, we gotta run the stadium steps to use more oxygen that's flowing. We gotta do a spin class. We gotta lift with Todd and have him screaming in our ear, right? But if we bring the oxygen down here because of the cuffs, we only got to go for a walk, do light exercise, cut the weight in half. Imagine not having to take 10,000 steps. Imagine getting on the treadmill in five minutes. You're feeling the burn like you just went for an hour. We simply lower the available oxygen to get in and out. It's just brilliant. I don't know why anybody ever thought of it sooner. And now you can do a fraction of the work. We, we did a workout for like 20, 25 minutes that would take two hours. And I mean, us old guys, we're all jacked up and pumped up and screaming and got nitric oxide flowing and growth hormone. Let me tell you, it was crazy, but everybody can do it. That's what's crazy. 85-year-old people can go for a walk. Kids, when they're starting doing push-ups and sit-ups can do this. We got Olympic athletes doing it, pro athletes doing it. And I mean, as you're going to learn here, I mean, it's just a game changer on faster, easier, better results. He's fired up a little bit. Can you tell? He's, He's fired up on the BFR train. When you say, what is BFR training, you described some of the things away, where it came from uh, with B3 Sciences, so they know like, what is it? Um, Can you please explain, we've got these bands around our arms, we've got these around, 
I got them around the legs. But what, is, what are these right here? What, 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 how does it work when someone says, hey, I want to try BFR training? Um, what, what's, what is it all about? So we take this flexible. That's yep. important. Flexible. It's not rigid like a blood pressure cuff. Yep. It's got multiple air chambers. This is our patent. This is why we're number one. So that when it puts pressure on your arm, it's not a complete squeeze. So I just slide it up. I hook up the pump and I put a little air in it. And all it's doing is putting a little impedance in place yep. so that the flow of blood slows down. It's still flowing. It's just slowing down. Now when I use oxygen, the muscle, it, it can't catch up. Yeah. Imagine like you had a oxygen mask on your muscle, right? Same thing. You'd have less oxygen to work with. So it's this safe slowing down of blood flow, hence blood flow restriction training. When done right, that's the key. Got to do it right. Got to use the right bands. That just puts you in, a, in an advantage. It's like having a significant yep. mechanical advantage yep. of being able to exercise less and get better results. In just a moment, I want to actually... Uh, demonstrate a few of the exercises that you had me do today. Maybe we do the top three exercises with BFR training in a moment. But um, let me ask you this, when it comes to, to BFR training and B3 sciences specifically, why, why are these bands different than any other BFR training bands? What uh, makes these better? Absolutely. Well, the technology in J Japan and the science and research first, Dr. Sato, who's the godfather, he spent 50 years studying this. When was this? He started in the 1960s, 60s, okay. and then by the early 2000s, he had developed the Japanese system that we found in 2012. He'd already figured out the width and flexibility. That's important. Flexible and the right width so it does not function like a blood pressure, so it doesn't hurt. Look, my muscle's moving through here. It doesn't hurt. It's safe. doesn't cut off blood flow. That's the most important part about the B3 Sciences BFR bands. We put them on our, our grandmas yeah. and we're not gonna hurt them. Yeah, and, and most importantly, most importantly, <laughs> I've seen people use my impact bands as uh, BFR bands. No, 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 no. Don't use the impact bands for BFR bands. That's not, that's not gonna work. You can snap your band to get your mind right, uh, but don't use the impact bands or the get your mind right bands for the BFR bands. Get your B3 Science bands and that's the best band that you can actually get. Speaking of which, I want to talk about who's this for? Who's it for and why the heck should we use it? Who's it for and why should we use BFR training? So let's talk about the why and the who. Who should be using BFR training? Well, anybody who wants to exercise and exercise better. So we got everybody from people out there who don't exercise anymore. Maybe the pandemic, you're not going to the gym anymore. Maybe all you like to do is walk. This is a way for you to do things you already love to do. I was talking to a lady last night. She cleans her house and walks up and down the steps. And she gets a fatigue in her legs like she is doing high-intensity exercise. She's already lost five pounds. She didn't change a thing. Okay. What's happening? She's able to reach a fatigue while doing stuff at home, normal daily living stuff, walking the dog, going for a bike ride with the kids. Or taking your kids on a weekend trip to a volleyball tournament, right? You put your bands on and you walk around the tournament and you watch your kids. They're getting a burn or fatigue in their legs. It's like a high intensity workout. That's number one. Now you got all the gym people, right? Hey, if you want to go to the gym and get a better workout, maybe you don't want to be there an hour and a half. Maybe you don't want to hurt the next day. Us old guys, we don't want to hurt, right? No. We can't squat. No. We can't, you okay. know, we can't do that no. heavy stuff. But the workout we just did, we can put the bands on and grab 10 pound dumbbells. And me and him are cranking out the arm farm, and it feels like we're curling 50s when we get done, and our arms are all jacked up. So now, all the 30, 40, 50, 60-year-old people, man, you can get a workout like you're a kid, just like you can run through a wall when you're done, because you got the bands. Now you got the athletic world. You're going to be able to put the bands on and hit deeper fatigues. Let me tell you about my son, 17 years old, played football his whole life wanted to be a division one college football player all these kids want to you know they want to go to college and play football and he was a quarterback he wasn't fast enough he ran like a four six forty that's not bad but not wide pretty, receiver speed pretty good right that's low d1 d2 put the bands on him uh had vic training vic's one of your people in your mastermind yep, group yep. thinks just loves you man and he did his same training, no change in training, but here he's hitting a deeper fatigue. Why? The bands are on. So even when he's doing the vertimax and the sled push and the box jumps, he's hitting a deeper fatigue. So apply that to all athletic throwing a football, hitting a golf ball, 
You hit a deeper fatigue because the bands are on. In eight weeks, he went up to Ohio State, ran a 4 3 5 40, 10 scholarship offers. I turned him from a low D1 athlete to 10 scholarship offers. We got a Utah volleyball player, Emily. She wasn't jumping high enough. And she trained with Dr. Jim up at Park City. In 10 weeks, she put six inches on her vertical. Wow. How is that possible? Because you're taking an athlete in their movement of jumping or throwing or running or swimming or hitting a golf ball or throwing a football, and you're able to put them in their same exercises. Granted, it's less work. It's less weight. But when you reduce the oxygen, you get a deeper fatigue. And we're going to dive in that in the science. Deeper fatigue, less oxygen equals better results every single time. Yeah, and, and as Dr. Mike is talking about right now, let me be real with you here. You're like, hey, Todd, how did you get involved with all this stuff? I got to be honest. I've been hearing about BFR training for years. A lot of my NFL athletes, Major League Baseball athletes, have been using BFR training as part of their recovery or rehab training with their respective teams. So it's been part of the protocol for years. But just now, is it really becoming part of the, I won't even say performance, I'm talking about the fitness regime for non-athletes. So how do I, how do I get a hold of Dr. Mike? There's a gal named Amber Kivett. And, uh, if you've been following my story at all, uh, about a year ago, I started suffering for, from a relapse of a back injury. And I couldn't train at the level I wanted to. And then when you can't train at the level you want to, it starts affecting your mindset. I'm like, dang, I got to get back to my, my heavy training. And she said, hey, there's this guy, Dr. Mike DePord, who you need to meet because he does his BFR training. And it's a way for you to actually get the same type of response hormonally talk to me, girl, talk to me. And she's like, well, when you use BFR training, what's going to happen is testosterone, growth hormone, and IGF-1 is all going to be released from using BFR training. All of a sudden, I'm like leaning. I'm like, hey, tell me more about this stuff. So I reached out to Dr. Mike, and he said, that's what BFR training is all about. That's why you do it. While the athlete world has been using it for a number of years, now what happens is guys and gals, Women who want to lose weight, want to improve their metabolism, can use this as part of their re regime and routine. For the last nine months, I've been using BFR training for three, four days a week. I know he uses it seven days a week. I use it three or four days a week when I'm doing my strength training, and I'm doing half the amount of weight that I've been using, increasing the number of reps, and getting a tremendous burn, and most importantly, the hormonal response. That's why one would use BFR training. So let me ask you the question. Is it appropriate for athletes? Yes or no? Oh, absolutely. How about kids? Yes, absolutely. What age kids? <clears throat> as soon as they can start doing push-ups, sit-ups, running. So if you're training a kid or a kid, you want to get faster, stronger, more explosive, then you can use BFR <clears throat> training. Under the auspices and eyes of a trained professional, please, can you hurt yourself with BFR training? No more than you could hurt yourself going to the gym. Okay. So how about women? Could or should they be using BFR training? Well, if they want more growth hormone, higher metabolism, shorter, more efficient workouts, they should use it. If will it get them big and bulky? No. It will not? No. Repeat, no. it will not get no. you big and bulky. It will get them lean and toned arms and nice lean bodies. There you go. Because still, after 25 years in this industry, I'm like, I don't want to lift weights. I might get big and bulky. No, you won't. You will not. Careful what's going in the mouth because the food is going to have something to do with are you getting big and bulky? Strength training and in incredibly smart, intelligent strength training uh, is the key to that. And to me, uh, the BFR training is a, I'm going to call it a hack, but it really is science. Mm -hmm. It's a hack, but it's science because I don't know about you, but I'm looking for every hack in the book when it comes to recovery, performance, fitness, hormones, that's safe, ethical, and legal, right? All these things are going to allow our bodies and our minds to be at the best that it can possibly be. What else? Any other reasons b b besides who should be using it or why use it? Well, I think it's the greatest weight loss thing we've ever seen. Okay. Because, you know, when you diet, diets are, diets are fabulous. They work awesome, you know. There's so many great diets out there. But at some point when you're reducing calories, your basal metabolic rate slows down. Mm. Then you're kind of stuck, right? But if you could get exercise, I want everybody to imagine if instead of burning 2,000 calories a day, ladies, you could put the bands on and in five or 10 minutes do a workout like Amber does and me and Todd did, and now you're going to burn 2,500 calories for the next 24 hours. So you're sitting on the couch and your caloric burn is going through the roof. You do any kind of dieting with that, 
you're, you're going to see changes. And here's what's happening that's different. Every woman that we're measuring, because you know what happens with weight loss. You lose weight, you lose body fat, you lose muscle. Absolutely. We're seeing in every single person, Amber can attest to this, muscles going up and fat's coming down. That just doesn't happen. If muscle goes up and fat's going down, you're heading towards the body that you've always wanted. And mm. you're talking about keeping it if you keep putting the bands on. Yep. So, guys, check out B3 Sciences. Check it out. You're going to want to study this guy right here, Dr. Mike DeBoard. He's got workshops all over the world. Uh, I'm just fortunate enough today to, to be uh, having him here in San Diego. And I say, hey, Dr. Mike, let's hop on, on live. Let's do this bad boy. And uh, let's share what the BFR training is all about because I've been using it with great results. And uh, my clients, not just my athletes, I've been using it with my athletes for a while, but now it's out to the world. So we're sharing it with all of our, our people. And I think it's going to be one of the greatest things that uh, the fitness industry is going to start using more of just because it's about results. At the end of the day, people want results. And I, I hate to say, oh, it's you, you, you train half the time and double the results. That sounds like a scam, right? When you hear that, oh, train for five minutes and you get double the results. I'm not saying uh, that. What I am saying is be smart, be intelligent, and BFR training does allow you to hack the system, your system, so that you can physically get the hormonal responses that are necessary, whether you're a high-level athlete of any sport, male or female, or you're someone who just wants to feel good and get your mind right. Like, man, I just need to get in there and crush a great workout like we did today. It wasn't heavy. And uh, last question, and I want to work out. I, I want to show them uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of the stuff we did today. Stay tuned. Uh, last thing, you train with BFR seven days a week? Seven days how a week. How many strength days, how many uh, cardio days? So three strength days. Three strength days. My strength training is 15 to 18 minutes. We did it. Okay. The other days, I do five minutes of cardio and five minutes of core, so I'm done in 10 minutes. Wait, wait. Five minutes of cardio? Five minutes of cardio. Why not 30 minutes? Why not 18 minutes, 30 minutes of cardio? That's the traditional, hey, let me hit 30 minutes of cardio, more cardio, less cardio. Very good. You heard it. Uh, we always talk about that. But uh, five minutes, are you saying you get the same response? You know, that's a great question. You know, and I teach, I teach this course, and it just, you know, it rechanges what people think. Yep. Your heart's a motor. Yep. Doesn't matter how many times you beat the motor. Yep. The heart itself doesn't improve. What improves if you get good cardiovascular exercise is your blood vessels. Yep. Flexible blood vessels, no atherosclerosis, heart can move the blood through, blood pressure is good. But training the cardiovascular system has nothing to do with time. It has to do with, can you create hypoxia? Can you do an aerobic workout that creates a deep enough hypoxia that turns on these adaptative systems? Mm. What does that mean? There's things called nitric oxide. That's that runner zone stuff, right? Or that warmed up stuff. Or they tell you to take the beats on TV, which I don't know about that because that's not natural. This is your own natural nitric oxide. But you have to hit a hypoxia. What does that mean? you got to deplete enough oxygen and feel the burn. It doesn't matter if you do that for five minutes or five hours. Okay. So I can hit a hypoxia in five minutes that most people can't hit in 40 minutes. <laughs> Hence, I get a better aerobic response. And we're seeing this in athletes. we got endurance athletes. I just got the national champion in mountain biking, 12 and 24 hours. He used to do two-hour rides. Now he does 20-minute rides. What's going on? We're able to get the fatigue required, the hypoxia drop in oxygen that stimulates the body's adaptative response. It has nothing to do with time. It has to do with only one thing. Did you get the burn? Okay. So I guess i got to adapt my, uh, my slogan to, if I'm using BFR training, <laughs> less cardio, less lardio, <laughs> right? But if I'm an athlete and I'm out doing some speed work or I'm doing some conditioning, going some, doing some you know, right. gassers, burners, I want to do some sprint work, good to have the, the BFR bands on? Oh, geez. Yeah, my, we just talked about my son, and I've got all kinds of athletes that have shown this. Okay. There's studies so it's, on this. Well, you use speed training, strength training, explosive training. Close, hitting a golf ball. All right, I think it's time to, uh, to go out to the, uh, the, the gym out here and, and demonstrate yeah. some of these exercises. What do you think? Yeah. You good? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Let's check this out. Let's, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll over here. Let's rock and roll. I hope they're, uh, they're dropping in the, uh, the, the, uh, the comments here. So, folks, as we talked about, uh, i got to get pumped up a little bit here. So, what should I go? About 200? Yeah. So he's just hooking the pump on here to his arm. We got a pump. 
you just pump it up to 200. By the way, the number to pump up the band is right here on the back, so it's easy to follow. Yep, yep, yep. You see it takes him about five seconds each arm to hook it up there. Although I'm a little pumped up right now just from earlier today. Hey, that'll work out. But hey, these are going to be the top three exercises. Top three exercises, upper body and lower body. You're like, oh, TV with the shorty shorts. No, it's because I got the bands on. Look at Dr. Mike laughing at me. But they're all, oh, man. I got 300 down low. 300 down low. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, it takes you literally less than 60 seconds to get uh, to get pumped up on that, and uh, we're ready to go. So, we going upper body first. What's uh, top three exercises? Dr. Mike, what do we got? Number one, the guns. Ladies like the toned arms, right? The nice lean toned arm. Guys like the guns, so we can do both. We're simply going to do biceps and then triceps. We're not going to rest. We're going to do biceps. How long? How many minutes? We typically do about 25 to 30 until we Rest. feel a burn. Yeah. And he's using about a third. These are tens. A guy like him would use 30 or 40s. He's working with less oxygen. So pretty quickly he's going to feel the burn. What's happening? His slow twitch muscles are running out of oxygen. We're firing the fast twitch muscles. Those are the big bad boys that drop the growth hormone and cause the change. In Talk the to me now. Talk yeah. to me. Three yeah. to five sets of about 20 reps. Yeah. Going fatigue. Yeah. When I'm done with this, yeah. how, many, how much time off do I get? No time off. We're going to go right to triceps. Be crazy. Yeah. Tricep kickbacks? Yeah. <sighs> like so we call this three minute guns. Three minute guns. He's just going to go continuous with a light weight. And by the time he gets done, he's going to feel a crazy burn. It's going to, and it's going to feel like he's curling 50-pound dumbbells. But he's going to fatigue deeper. That's the crazy part. He's like fatiguing deeper in oxygen deficit. And he's fatiguing those fast twitch muscle fibers, the ones that require the heavy weight, deeper. And boy, when you get to the end, it feels like you're trying to, you know, you, you push a mountain there at the end. So three sets of 20 on the uh, curls. Three, sets, Three of sets of 20 on the kickbacks. I like a little corkscrew. I get a little corkscrew. Get screwed a little bit. Boom! A little corkscrew at the bottom. That's exercise number one. Gun show. What's next? Exercise number two. The perfect squat exercise for the legs, butt, ladies, everybody, athletes, is we'll just do a torque squat. We'll sit in a squat and we'll do knees in, knees out for about a minute. You call it a torque squat? We call it, well, my daughter called it the torque squat. That wasn't my invention. Are you going to be twerking a little bit here? Yeah. All right. A little twerking, 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 like this here? Yep, so we're going to get in the squat and just knees in as far as we can, knees out. <clears throat> so we're working all the different muscles of the legs. How's that? Like that? That's perfect. Should I start twerking a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be laughing over there. Yeah. <sighs> so again, he's got less oxygen to work with while he's doing this. So he's going to feel the burn in a fraction of the time. And then you just continue. We call it stepping on the gas. Y'all better get your mind right. You're like, oh, TV! <laughs> Suck it up, buttercups! <sighs> so it's easy to get to the burn, so anybody can do it. I mean, my 85 year old mom loves this exercise. She does this, feels the burn. Hey, by the way, why is it that I'm actually going deeper as I do this more? I'm actually sinking. <laughs> ah! Deeper! Yeah. <sighs> okay. How many uh, sets do I do there? Three? We would do three sets for about a minute. Feel a light burn first set, medium burn second set, kind of go to a hard burn third set. So three sets of the torque squat. Yep. Boom. That's working one. the butt. That's working the hands. That's working the, that's working the quads. It's working the adductors and abductors. Guys. That's working it all. Before you start commenting, like, TD, get your chest up, huh? Suck it up and do it yourself. And then start, start, start talking smack. I'm exhausted. Uh, honestly, I was doing a lot of body weight type work when my back was all inflamed and jacked up. I call these prayer squats. Is that a kind of oxymoron? Yeah. Prayer, t prayer torque squats. Prayer torque squats. There you go. The new one. The BFR prayer torque squats. Start a little twerking. twerking. Get your mind right. Last one. Number three. What do we got? We're going to do a, uh, some work for the glute and the back. We call it chicken wing. So we're going two lower body. Well, I guess we got two uppers. Yeah. A little gun show. Yeah. A little and then some at the end. What do we got? Chicken wing? So this is kind of a donkey kickback. We call it the chicken wing. We just raise the knee out to the side. Okay. Yep. Boom, boom. So, boom. Chicken wing and back. Like that? Yep. Bring that knee up as far as you can to your arm. Yep. And then extend it back. Boom. A back behind like that. <clears throat> like that. What's this working? I know what it's working, but Dr. Mike, tell him what it's working. Back. It's working the glute. It's working the hands. It's even working the quad a little bit on the front. Ooh. Fast or slow? 
Uh, we do that slow for about 20, and then we switch over to the other side, and we do three on each side. Three on each side? Yeah. This is perfect for everybody that wants to work the rear, sure. right? But it also works the back, because everybody's got back problems for sitting, so it strengthens the back True at that. the same time. So you keep it up high, keep it up and then wrap it around yep. behind. Oh, wrap around. Yep, so he's keeping that knee up at about this level. He's ah! it and drop down. Dang, this is harder than it looks with these BFR bands around the upper thighs. The difference with the bands, he's able to get a deeper fatigue. Way what? deeper. Question for you, Mike. Is there anything wrong with why you're resting to get a little extra BFR for the bottom? No. Anything wrong with no. a little push ups that thing, and then some exercise on that? Well, man. So we got the gun show. Yeah. We got the prayer torque squats. Uh, yeah. We got, we got the chicken wing. Yeah. And we got the and then some push-ups. Yeah. Three great exercises. Any other final comments on that? You typically in a workout will do how many exercises in one of your 15 to 18 minute workouts? Five to ten exercises? I like that. Yeah, four, five, six exercises. You've worked the whole body. You've turned on a ton of growth hormone after exercises. And you've hit the burn. Yep. That burn that's, that's the, uh, the ultimate thing to turn on the body. Exercise without the burn is really not very productive. Exercise with the burn, whole different world. Hey guys, so you're going to want a whole library of exercise. We just showed you three and then some on that. When you go to the link that's below, go to the link, check it out. You can look at all the library within B3 Sciences. Uh, there's a lot of great content information. This man's a scientist. He spends his world studying uh, the physiology of muscle and how specifically blood flow restriction, BFR training, can help you be the best version of yourself. I don't care if you're 17 years old. I don't care if you're 25, you're a pro athlete, you're a grandma, you're a dad, you're a mom, you're 50 years old and you got some issues going on, get your mind right, whatever it takes. Or if you're 82 years old and I'm training, I'm like, hey, we're gonna use the BFR bands today from my friends over at B3 Sciences. Check out BFR training. I really believe it's gonna help amp up your body, your mind, your energy. Most importantly, get your physiology right so your body and your mind can prosper. Dr. Mike, any final words, my friend? Well, I think we've, we've, un we've unlocked Man. You know, a new way to exercise for people. Yeah. We've made it as easy as we can now. Yeah. Now we just tell them, you gotta get the bands. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. you guys, when I talk about uh, BFR training, how it's been in the athlete world for years. If you talk to some athletes who've been around the block for a long time, they know what BFR training is all about. But over the next several years, BFR training is going to translate all the way into to youth and high school and college sports, going to translate into any guy or gal who wants to really amp up their metabolism, lose weight, feel good, get the growth hormone, testosterone, IGF-1 released and uh, do that. So check it out. Uh, go to the link here at b3sciences.com. Uh, it's down below. Check it out. We'll see you on the other side. Until next time, remember, train hard, eat right, live inspired, and go create some impact, baby.